Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64. This is episode 20 of my Minecraft mod review series, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Rival Rebels mod. So basically what this mod is, is that it's mainly a player versus player mod, and it adds a whole bunch of new things into Minecraft, including new weapons, items, structures, supplies, and whatnot. And there are a lot of features to review in this mod, so I might make another video for this explaining some other features in the mod as well. So first of all, I think I'll start off with the new explosives, because there's also explosives in this mod as well. So first of all, the remote charges. Now in order to craft a remote charge, you'll need a battery, fuel, rockets, and pliers. And these are all new items, and you do actually have to craft them as well. Which is why I'll probably make a video showing the crafting recipes for these items. Now what I just crafted was actually just a remote, but you will need to remote in order to actually detonate the remote charge. So in order to craft the remote charge itself, you need rockets, a battery, fuel, and a gas grenade. Now you can place the remote charges by holding the remote and right clicking. You can also place them by just holding the remote charges, but if you do place down remote charges like that, you'll have to detonate them manually because it will not work if you try to remote. So then you just right click, and there you go, it detonates. And that's pretty much all there is to the remote charges, so you can just detonate them with the remote, or you can also detonate them by actually punching them. Now the gas grenades that are used to craft remote charges actually do something themselves. You can actually throw them, and when they hit the ground they will release a cloud of gas. And if a player or a mob actually steps into the cloud of gas, they will actually be inflicted with potion effects, such as blindness, nausea, slowness, and poison. So that's what the cloud of gas looks like, and as you can see, if I step into it, everything has gone dark. And as you can see, there's all the effects. They don't last for a long time, but if a player stays in the cloud of gas for too long, the player will eventually die. The same thing goes for mobs as well. Next up is landmines. Now in order to craft landmines, you need to have a block of dirt, a battery, rockets, and pliers. Now I actually noticed something. When you use pliers in a crafting recipe, they actually go back in your inventory instead of disappearing. I guess that's kind of convenient though, so they never actually disappear, so they can be reused in crafting recipes basically. So as you can see, the landmine looks a lot like grass, but if you step on it, it explodes as you can see. And also, the color of the grass on the landmine changes depending on the biome you're in. So you basically step on it, and as you can see, it explodes. And that's pretty much all that the landmines do, so yeah. And then there's flares, and in order to craft flares, you need two blocks of dirt, fuel, and rockets. And you get eight flares. Now as you can see, you can place them down in, and at nighttime, they actually do give off light. And if a player or mob walks into the flare, they will be set on fire. So as you can see, I pushed a creeper into the flare, and he's now been set on fire, so yeah. So I guess that could also be used for getting rid of mobs, like in builds or something. And also, if you hit the flare, it actually explodes. So I'm just going to hit it here, and there we go, it creates a small explosion. And then there's a nuke, and it is pretty much the most powerful explosive in the mod, let me tell you that. So first of all, in order to craft it, you'll need steel. And as you can see, you can also place down steel as well, and you can actually climb it, so yeah. So first of all, you'll need the nuke top. And in order to do that, you have to place steel in that fashion and some pliers. And then you need to create the bottom. So place the steel in the crafting table in that fashion, and then the pliers, and then you get the bottom of the nuke. And then you need to place it down like this. So there you go, it actually takes on the shape of a nuke. And then you can use the pliers, and it becomes an actual nuke. And there you go. But before you can detonate the nuke, you'll need to craft the fuses. So you'll need steel, a battery, and two pliers, and you get the fuses. And then using pliers, you can open up the inventory of the nuke, as you can see, so you just place the fuses on the left hand side, on the inventory slot to the left. So as you can see, there's also a timer, and by default it's at 30 seconds. But then you have to put an item called a nuclear element into the nuke's inventory. And as you can see, adding more nuclear elements in will actually change the power of the explosion. So as you can see, 17.5 megatons, it goes up to 25. And at the moment, nuclear elements do not actually have a crafting recipe, so you'll just have to grab them from the creative inventory for now. And last but not least, you'll need to create a timed bomb. And in order to do that, you'll need fuel, battery, rockets, and some pliers. And you get a timed bomb. And then you have to put the timed bomb in the nuke's inventory in that slot, in the back of the nuke. And as you can see, the timer is now armed. And then as you can see, 10 seconds before it explodes, it'll actually warn you that it's about to explode. And here's what the explosion looks like. So there you go, it explodes. And as you can see, there's a giant mushroom cloud. 
and for some reason it seems to disappear randomly, I'm not sure why. But as you can see, there is a massive explosion going on right now, and as you can see, all the blocks have just been completely destroyed. So there you go, it just basically leaves a giant crater behind. Now as you can see, there's also some dirt there as well, and the little green sparkles, at least that's what I think they look like anyway, but the little green sparkles means that the dirt is actually radioactive. So if you step on it, well, you'll get damaged by it. Then as you can see, there's little gray specks that almost look like ash. And that's basically all there is to the nuke, so it just creates giant explosions. So there you go. Now on to some more weapons. So first of all, here's the rocket launcher. So basically what it does is that, well, it launches rockets. And you actually need rockets in your inventory in order to launch them. And in the next video that I make of this, I'll actually provide the crafting recipe for the rocket launcher. But there you go, as you can see, if you right click, it actually launches a rocket, and I just annihilated those creepers. So yeah, so you basically right click and it fires it. And apparently they can travel for up to 100 blocks before exploding, so there you go. And you can fire multiple at a time, so you can fire multiple rockets. So yeah, I guess this would be good for like something like target practice or something, or just annihilating the landscape, I don't know. And then there's the Tesla, and basically what it does is that it fires lightning. So as you can see, I'm going to spawn a few creepers here, at least on, if the game stops lagging. So then you right click, and there you go, so it just launches lightning. So as you can see, it actually takes out the creepers in one hit. But apparently it doesn't always seem to hit the creepers, so only occasionally does the weapon actually hit mobs. Now another thing that the Tesla can do is that it can actually destroy blocks. So if you look closely, I'm actually destroying blocks with this. So there you go, I'm actually destroying them. So you could actually use this for mining as well. So as you can see, it goes down a very long ways. So you can basically use that for mining. And last but not least, the flamethrower. And basically what it does is that, well, it launches flames. So here's basically how it works. So you right click, and there you go. It actually launches flames, so it basically sets everything on fire, so yeah. And there's actually a lot of flames that shoot out of it, so as you can see, like, basically everything gets set on fire. And once again, it also travels pretty far as well, so yeah. So you can just basically burn creepers to death, so another way of killing creepers. But yeah, so there's some of the uh, new blocks and items and weapons and whatnot that can be found in the Rival Rebels mod. But I think I'll probably save the other ones for now, so maybe I'll probably save them for like another video. I'll show all the crafting recipes for the weapons that I've actually reviewed in this video. And I'll also review some new blocks as well, because there's actually a lot of new blocks that this adds as well. But I think I'll probably save it for another video, so episode 21 will probably be Rival Rebels Part 2 review, so yeah. Then you can see you can just light trees on fire, so yeah. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for now, so maybe in the next episode of Minecraft Mods I'll review more stuff in the Rival Rebels mod, so yeah. That's pretty much it for now then. Look at that, that creeper just went flying for goodness sakes. But yeah. So as usual, if you want to download the mod for yourself, the link is in the description. Uh, this mod does require Forge. And actually, this mod is not available on the Minecraft forums. So I'll actually have the link to where you can download it in the description of this video. Um, apparently the mod has its own blogspot page, which is where you can download it, so yeah. And you can also purchase Minecraft at Minecraft.net, so yeah. But that's it for now then. So this is Dr. Robonic64, thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or maybe subscribe. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. And the link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one. So yeah. And there you go, that's what happens when you have a uh, 25 megaton nuke explosion, apparently. This creates a massive crater. I mean, my goodness, that's like a huge crater. But yeah, so in the next episode I'll review some more stuff from the Rival Rebels mod, but that's it for now. So I'll see you guys in the next video that I make then. Later!